All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. We started with the introduction, understood where does Lightning Web Component fit in the Salesforce picture, and we are just starting to get into the familiarity and understanding of where does LWC sit in front of JavaScript or now in front of Aura, right? So you might have a question in mind that you know. Salesforce, okay, fine. They are going to go with LWC. It is a newer technology. It uses HTML, JavaScript. But but why why are they going to do this? What was their problem? Why are they introducing new stuff again? We just learned Aura components. We got familiar with it, and now they are introducing LWC. What could be the reason? And what could be the difference? Right. So let's look into the differences or the key distinguishing elements between LWC and Aura. All right. So LWC and Aura. Again, I have created an analogy here. You have a feature phone. When I say feature phone, I'm not sure how many of you know, but let's say those old phones that you used to have, Nokia 1100, right? Or let's say um, the BlackBerry phone, right? What were they good for? They were actually good for making calls to your family members. Yes. Making calls to your friends. Yes. Sending out messages. Yes. However. if i tell you you have to do a video call or if you have to attend a meeting or if you have to you know test the speed of the wifi on your phone or you have to do a complex calculation or if you want to draw something on your phone all of those capabilities were not present on that phone so we went into something that's called a smartphone right so we we did get smarter and so did our phones right so if you think like this aura can be considered more like a feature phone i am not uh, derogating aura like this but i am trying to give an example aura can be considered as feature phone lwc is a smartphone all right now why is that let's try to understand so lwc is based on the web standards now when i say web standards html javascript css html5 css3 latest version of javascript lwc is based on that so any new techno any new revisions that happen on the web standard will reflect on the lightning web component which is very powerful which is very fruitful correct you don't need maintenance you don't need to worry about how to you know upgrade your system because you are already in line with the modern web technology all right however that was not the case with aura aura is more like a proprietary framework this is something that the salesforce platform built in house on top of some layers and that has a limited uh, capability limited value so you cannot expand the capability of aura that faster the way html javascript and css will grow correct and plus this kind of creates a dependency that you can only do it in salesforce within salesforce because is because it is proprietary now why will people learn something that is just your proprietary information it what if you want to switch to a different domain what if you don't want to continue working with salesforce anymore in that case the learning has to again be done for you right and the same is for businesses they would don't want to rely on a certain thing for a longer period of time that is a very big kind of a dependency so it was it is always safer it is always better to align the platform or align yourself to whatever is happening globally correct so the global web standard framework is something that lwc is based on however aura does not rely or you know based on the web standards it is more like a proprietary thing it is more like a an ice cream that is created curated within salesforce it is not readily available at all the other stores okay the other thing is Com in comparison because you are using the web standards and you are very i can say down to earth right because you have reached to the last level html javascript and css lwc tends to be faster and lightweight so that's a very important uh, parameter that businesses require my page needs to be fast i it needs to be lightweight it should not load slowly uh, why am i not seeing the data after 3 seconds why am i not seeing the data after 5 seconds there are companies where this is a very big deal right and obviously performance is very important correct or else what's the difference between virat kohli and any other cricketer in the world right so faster and lightweight lwc is faster and lightweight however aura comparatively is slower and less op optimized so that's another key differentiator all right now in terms of reusability lwc components we'll see this when we actually build components you will realize that okay the reusability factor is higher in lwc because you can be a bit more modular in lwc compared to aura aura was more like one use case per component but in lwc you can actually create a generic library and you use it everywhere so that's a very good feature that you can reuse components all right 
again the learning curve we already talked about it because it is more around html css javascript it is relatively easier so if you know javascript very good if you know basics of javascript still good if you do not know it's okay we'll learn it but compared to aura because you have to learn a so aura you can consider is more like a, a completely different language that you have to learn all right however lwc is similar to what what you are currently speaking and it is kind of a language from the same uh, parent script so you can consider that way all right so it is relatively easier to learn lwc okay because it is kind of based on javascript and if you know javascript a bit and if you learn javascript half of your work is done then you just need to layer it off and in terms of the future updates aura was again limited as i already mentioned but because the modern web standards keep on improving keep on you know uh, getting better and upgraded similarly lwc also gets actively improved and that's where salesforce is also investing their money all right so the future updates are active in the lwc side but very much limited on the aura side and that's primarily the difference between lwc and aura all right i hope these examples the analogies and the table structure here kind of makes sense to you and you are now clear as to what is lwc what is javascript and what is aura and why are we sitting here discussing lwc like it is the biggest thing because it is the biggest thing right now in, in um, that we need to achieve and conquer all right now that brings you to the next question that okay manshu now you told me when to use lwc and when to use javascript but when should i use aura versus when should i use lwc the answer is very simple you might not like it but go for lwc always henceforth don't shy away or don't fear it all right any new requirement that comes up on your plate whether you are a fresher whether you are a 5 year experience whether you are a 10 year experience whether you don't know it at all or you are planning to work for something that is in aura try to pitch for lwc and try to start writing and building lwc components use online resources use help use salesforce documentation but only go for lwc hereafter that's the idea okay if you are going to go for aura there will come a time when you have to migrate your work to lwc later so why do it later just do it now so no point in shying away or fearing it there's nothing to fear all right you only have to choose aura today if let's say there's any capability that's still missing in lwc which which the salesforce platform has only not built only in that scenario you should choose aura okay and that's very less that's very less most of the scenarios can be covered in lwc and lwc is pretty much strong uh, in terms of the features and capabilities so point 2 is more like invalid you can always look at the point 1 all right so that's what you need to do if it comes between lwc versus aura what do you choose what does your manager say whatever they say you have to go for lwc pitch that up front all right great that's all i wanted to cover as part of this video just just put a comment and tell me like you know um if you if you are clear with lwc javascript and aura where do these languages stand and why are we kind of you know reaching this point where we are jumping into lwc okay i know you might already know a few things here but but it's very important to understand each and every item in detail so that later it does not you know uh, confuse you and you are clear in your head on the foundational level great i'll talk to you in the next one bye